Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna start an overview of AI ML applications within oil and gas. I will be mainly focused on upstream sector with discussion around geoscience and petroleum engineering. This video is gonna be the first part of the series. It's about seismic data processing within explorational geophysics. Today I will touch on the application of deep learning and machine learning for first break picking, image denoising and recovering missing data. Seismic exploration uses seismic reflection to identify the stratigraphic traps. It consists of several parts, seismic data acquisition and processing, inversion and interpretation. All right, let's jump to a quick explanation of what is seismic data processing anyway. A survey is recorded as a result of generating seismic wave at a source. The wave travels through subsurface and gets recorded at receivers placed on specified locations. Seismic data processing is used to remove or at least minimize the artifacts in records. The artifacts might be due instrumentation and procedures and noises in the data obscuring the subsurface image. So the first break picking, also called first arrival picking, is a sample on a seismic trace where amplitude increases for the first time and the signal is observed. Travel time of first arrivals provides valuable information for many applications, such as demographic static corrections, source location, velocity inversions, and some others. Of course, the reflected signal is strongly affected by the acquisition, subsurface structures, and signal-to-noise ratio, so it's not perfectly automated by conventional tools. As a result, it requires intense human involvement to check the pickings with significant static corrections weak energy, low signal-to-noise ratio, and dramatic phase changes. Deep learning can help with first arrival picking on real field seismic. Many publications address the problem. Some take a classification approach, where first breaks are marked as ones and zero elsewhere. However, it would result in an imbalanced data set, because we would have only one positive point on the whole seismic trace. The later publications started to treat the problem as image segmentation. Each point before the first arrival on the trace is set to zero and once afterwards. The last publication that I've read on the subject proposes to use two neural networks, UNet for segmentation and recurrent for first break picking. Additionally, they propose to use weight adaptation approach for generalization on new datasets. They compare the deep learning with conventional method as STA over LTA on real field data and achieving outstanding results on all test cases, including when noise level is high. If you would like to train your own first break picking solution based on unit segmentation neural network, then head to this GitHub account. It provides a complete training code, synthetic data generation pipeline, and well-written summary. Be sure to check it out. And let me know in the comments if you would like me to make a video about it. If you like what you see or at least find it useful, then consider smashing that like button. In seismic data acquisition, the geophones record reflected seismic signals as well as random and coherent noise. Random noise is caused by environmental interferences. Coherent noise, such as linear noise, multiple reflections, are generated by the source. Noises lead to undesired artifacts on seismic imaging and inversion. One of the problems within exploration geophysics is removing noises and improving signal-to-noise ratios. Conventional methods are typically based on filtering technique, developed for specific kind of noises with certain features. However, conventional methods fail when the signal and noise share a common feature space. Deep learning methods avoid being locked on some specific features when used for seismic denoising. Nevertheless, the deep learning methods would be suitable to use as long as the training dataset would represent real field seismic. As you might suspect, it's not easy to find a dataset that might be used for training for noise removal. There are several ways we can approach this problem. We can generate synthetic dataset, use real field data, but we need to clean it with conventional methods, or use both of them in semi-supervised fashion. The paper, Deep Learning for Denoising presents a convolutional neural network and transfer learning that enables intelligent denoising without human intervention on real data set 
for random noise attenuation. And another example of successful application is presented for scattered ground roll noise removal. And it's hard to remove as it occupies the same frequency as the reflected signal. Deep learning achieves good results because it can exploit the hidden relationship between corrupted and clean data from many existing data sets. Because of environmental or economic limitations, the seismic receivers are placed irregularly or not densely enough. Whereas the performance of multi-channel data processing depends profoundly on the spatial sampling intervals, significant gaps lead to aliasing, adversely resulting in poor resolution. And hence reconstruction the data on a denser grid is essential to improve the resolution. There are actually two types of missing data regularly missing and irregularly missing data. Irregular, as you might suspect, it's when we have randomly missing data on uniform grid. Regularly means that the data periodically missing on a constant pattern. And we are mostly concerned with irregular missing data, since seismic is often sampled irregularly and sparsely. The deep learning methods can avoid assumptions that limit conventional interpolation methods, such assumptions as linear events, sparseness and low rank. The paper Deep Learning for Irregularly and Regularly Missing Data Reconstruction achieves good results. They randomly sample and construct incomplete patches of data as input and on the output we would expect to have reconstructed patch for the encoder-decoder style end-to-end -end unit neural network. And they test the model on typical data sets it performs better than the fast generalized Fourier transform interpolation method. The next video is gonna be about application of AI ML for seismic data imaging. Thanks for watching and see you next time.